Hello, and welcome to the SIGGRAPH 2025 Technical Papers trailer, where we showcase some of the amazing research being presented at this year's conference. Check out the illuminating technical papers at SIGGRAPH 2025. Switch on and off light sources in an image, or even change their color by using a diffusion model fine-tuned on both real and synthetic lighting data. Want to fix lighting in a picture? This method can relight single images with anything from distant environment maps to local point lights by using an estimated proxy scene to guide neural re-rendering. Look your virtual best in any lighting environment with a relightable full-body Gaussian codec avatar, which uses a local global light transport split to more accurately capture illumination effects. Want to go beyond relighting? Diffusion as Shader generates videos by using a 3D point cloud as a diffusion model input. This allows for camera movement, mesh to video generation, and object editing. Edit videos with text prompts and sketches. This system propagates single frame edits by using a 3D point cloud to handle camera transformations and a diffusion model to synthesize a seamless final result. Speaking of consistency, scenes aren't soups. This system does 2D to 3D reconstruction using inferred spatial relationships between objects, producing physically plausible arrangements and enabling occlusion-aware object reconstruction. This paper shows how to represent dynamic objects in video generation by first fine-tuning on appearance and then on motion. The resulting dynamic concepts can then be combined with other prompt data to control generated videos. This paper shows how to infuse albedo, normal, and roughness textures with details such as wear, aging, and weathering by using an off-the-shelf diffusion model. The output is another texture set amenable to further editing and adjustment. Speaking of materials, sometimes you can have it all. Comprehensive Neural Materials uses a quantized neural network to represent high-performance, high-fidelity materials with user-controllable synthesis and parallax effects. Want to get hands-on with 3D creation? VRDO is an open-source VR modeling system that lets users sculpt and edit objects using their own virtual hands. We know 3D Gaussian splatting shines, and now it shines through. Transparent GS introduces transparent Gaussian primitives with deferred refraction for precise reflection and refraction effects. Now you can paint with 3D Gaussian splats. This paper describes tools to select groups of splats, deform and stamp them along a brush path, and even do in-painting for seamless connection to the underlying scene. Gaussian's too smooth for your 3D scene? Deformable beta splatting replaces Gaussian's with beta kernels, which allows more precise geometric representation and better modeling of specular lighting, all while using fewer parameters and rendering faster. Take your 3D models apart with generative exploded dynamics, which both segments parts and generates trajectories for exploded views. You can select individual regions of interest to control the decomposition. Tired of explosions? Try squishing your shape in four dimensions. This paper shows how to extend deformation invariance and hyperelastic energies to simulate squishing and bending of 4D meshes. Returning to two dimensions, ClayCode is a clever 2D scannable code that stores data in a tree of region structure, allowing many stylization and distortion opportunities. Want to use every flop available in your computer? This paper shows how to schedule simulation workloads on hybrid CPU GPU systems, allowing for efficient use of all processors. Take a squishy leap forward. This approach lets digital artists breathe life into soft deformable characters, making them leap, walk, and gesture by specifying high-level motion goals. Speaking of stretching, this new Cosserat rod solver ditches complex implicit methods for a simple to implement split optimization scheme with a closed form Gauss side L update, achieving state of the art stability and speed. Speaking of speed, this method allows near GPU speed for CPU only cloth simulation by splitting garments into sub meshes and parallelizing both the local and global steps of projective dynamics. Science doesn't just leap forward, sometimes it parkours. This framework bootstraps a versatile skill set from a few basic terrain traversal skills by generating synthetic motions, correcting these motions to be physically plausible, and iterating. If you love this robot's moves, you should check out a more. This system creates control policies that produce optimal behavior under any weighting of objective function terms, allowing real-time post-training adjustment. The vortex particle flow map method updates the vortex in cell method by tracking higher order quantities along with vorticity. It can preserve vortex structures 30 times longer than the previous state of the art. Speaking of particle flow maps, one can also use them to add back to Klebsch wave function, producing surprising fluid detail, even on low resolution grids. And one can now take flow maps to the GPU and combine them with an adaptive grid, resulting in high effective fluid resolutions and low per frame computation times. 
but can a character swim in it? This paper shows how to learn control policies for fluid coupled virtual agents using a local simulation domain that smoothly tracks the agent's position and orientation. Join us in Vancouver for SIGGRAPH 2025. Explore this year's remarkable technical papers and be part of the future of computer graphics and interactive techniques.